boys and girls, Mrs. Hansen here. So we are going to read a new story for this week. And our first story is called Someone Bigger. And this is by Jonathan Emmett and it's illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. So Jonathan is our author who writes the words and Adrian is our illustrator who drew the pictures. So our story, Someone Bigger, is a is a fiction story. Um, so that means it's fake. It's something that's not true. So I want you to be listening while Mrs. Hansen's reading to hear what parts do you think don't sound true, that they couldn't happen in real life. And what we're going to be talking about is family outings. So a family outing is what families might do to go out and have something, do something fun or go places together. So for like a family outing, you might go to the park and have a picnic. You might go for a walk. Um, there's lots of different things you guys can do for a family outing. So with that, let's start our story. So it is called Someone Bigger. Dad, I'm sorry, Sam and Dad made a kite. They'd made it large. They'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I am old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. Now, do you really think a kite is strong enough to carry all these people? Look at them all trying to get that kite down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse. Now that's just silly. A bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Well, all those people, look at them. Hanging on to that kite. And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Well, how big do they need to be? I wonder what's going to happen next. Do you think they're going to get more people on the kite? Let's see. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. I didn't think that was going to come next. Do you think maybe it's going to get another animal? And other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Sweetie, I was right. They are getting more animals. And yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. So it has a rhino, a tiger, and a kangaroo. 
But then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. Look at all of these people hanging off this kite string. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down. Everyone from zoo in town, rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. I'm assuming a bridegroom is the groom. I've never heard it called a bridegroom before. So you have the bride and groom. Those are the people that are getting married in the wedding. Postman, policeman, robber. Uh-oh, look, the policeman's going to get that robber, huh? Horse. And last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small. And as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. Now look at that. None of them were able to hold the kite. But look, Sam's able to hold it and not get pulled up. So... That was a cute story. Now, what do you guys think? That kind of stuff couldn't happen because could it pull up all those people and animals? No. So what happened? Sam was big enough, right? So at the beginning, his dad said, no, you're not old enough or you're not big enough. And Sam just wanted to be bigger. And then finally at the end, he was big enough. He was big enough to get the kite down and save all the people and animals off the kite. So he was big enough. So he showed his dad that he was big enough to handle the kite, right? So that was a cute story. And we got to talk a little bit more about fiction because we've been doing a lot of um, nonfiction and stories that are true and everything. So I hope you guys like that story. And I will talk to you guys all soon. All right, guys. Bye.